Welcome back to Crimson Drive, driven by NASCAR. This is Roger Hoover, now joined by the newest member of the PGA Tour, Alabama golfer Nick Dunlap, who won the American Express last week. And you and I got to visit in the fall, talked about the whirlwind of 2023. You win the U.S. Amateur, you're part of the winning Walker Cup team. What has this last week been like for you? It has to be even more of a whirlwind. Double it. <laughs> um, but no, it, it's all, you know, all great problems to have and um, to, you know, be able to, to chase my dream as a 20-year-old is pretty special and, and something I'm looking forward to. We're certainly excited for the success you've had. Uh, just what led to success? What were some of the most consistent clubs in your bag this past week? Putter. Um, I mean, all of them. I, I played extremely well. And shot, you know, 29 under par. Not not a lot went poorly. Um, you know, I did a lot of things great. I put a new driver, put the new QI10 Taylor made in the bag and, and drove that um, beautifully the last three days. And, um, you know, putted, putted well, ironed it well. But, I mean, I, I really have, you know, no complaints. How important was it to have Hunter as your caddy? Is he going to be your caddy moving forward? Um, hopefully, um, I, you know he's going to caddy at, at Pebble and at Riviera for the, my next two events, and um, he's uh, he's such a calm voice. And you know, on my bag, he, he, I said it out there. He never seems to change. It doesn't it doesn't matter what the moment is. He whether that was you know my putt for sixty or, or to win the event, he's he's always the same, and it's it's unbelievable. But um, to have his, you know, kind of positivity and his outlook on golf and, you know, he's so knowledgeable and especially with some of these courses that I haven't seen before, he, he's, a, he's able to have been out there and he's played them. So uh, I kind of lean on him and, and his insight and, you know, for some of these events moving forward. Of course, you win the event on Sunday and then the question is, all right, will he or will he not turn pro? When did you have clarity on this decision? It took a little bit, but and, and that's one reason I wanted to come back. I wanted to talk to the team and, and my family and, you know, have a sit down conversation with them and, and obviously Coach Sewell because it, like I said, th that decision didn't just impact me. It, it, you know, there was a, a time where, you know, I have to leave my teammates mid-season, and, and that's really hard and, and something that I didn't see coming and they didn't see coming and, and something that I wanted to talk to them about personally, and, and they were the first ones to hear that um, this was my decision, and I, like I said, I wanted that to come from me. I know it's tough not getting to compete with them this spring, but what is this group capable of, you feel like, in college golf? Well, I mean, even the last event, I wasn't able to. I was worn slap out from Dubai and didn't play our last event of the year, and they they won, you know, that event when I wasn't there. So I think they've proven that, with or without me, they're they're a hell of a golf team, and and I've got you know nothing but trust that they'll continue to prove that. And I think that um, you know they know that the spotlight's you know going to be on them for a little bit. And and like I said, I have no doubt that they'll go out and, and perform that you know the way they think they can. Talked before about wanting to play for this program, wanting to wear the script day and play for Coach Sewell. How did Alabama prepare you for this next step you're now taking on the PGA Tour? Even the last year and a half, like I feel like I've grown so much. Um, and a lot of it is the preparation that, that you know, kind of Coach Sewell um, prepares for us. I think his track record speaks for himself on what he's done in the past with, with tour players and, you know, why tour players continue to come back and see him. And um, I think it just goes to show what, you know, what he does for us and what he does for Alabama. Well, Nick, congratulations on your decision to turn professional. We wish you all the best at Pebble Beach and beyond. Thank you for joining us, Roll Tide. I appreciate it, Roll Tide. Thanks.